And yes, so as the news will continue, the House of Representatives, they don't throw their weight behind the amendment for the National Primary Health Care Agency Development Act. The act will be the subject of a public hearing for the House uh, with two health bills within the call bill for act to take established cancer registry and bill for act to take established the National Blood Service Commission. And while lawmakers the clap hand for the effort to take improved primary health care nationwide, as in the amend the primary health act, health ministry officials and self some are different views for the bill to establish cancer registry and say a duplicate of already existing agency. Bill will strengthen these processes. Uh, you find many people with headaches, malaria. Instead of going to primary care, they are busy going to tertiary and secondary health care. And that's why we are supporting 100 percent this bill. We will be able to achieve our goal of universal health coverage only if the primary care centers are working effectively and optimally. And I think that is why we are here to support. We are here also in dual capacity. One, as an organization that also uh, have a membership from those that provide these critical health care services, the unions which are here. But secondly also we have membership from the informal sector that are also consumers to this very important service. We have them the road transport everywhere in this country. Over two million members are affiliated. Uh, then the National Amalgamated Union of Cattle Dealers, Butchers, they are also affiliated. So when you look at it, it's a bill that we have dual interest. And I'm happy that the provincial associations are here to look at strictly professional issues that will strengthen this bill. But on general view, I want to support these two bills, and I think I want to commend, really, uh, the sponsor for this bill. I think this is the way to go, and it will touch the main essence of governance. And I hope that this your intention will see the light of the day, so that all of us will be proud of having a self blood transmission. Indeed, so many lost their lives through unnecessary reactions. Many are incapacitated through transmission without following the required guidelines. So we do hope this bill, when passed into law, will address all those challenges. I will state right away that cancer registration is a means by which information on all cancer cases is collected coded, classified, in order to produce statistics on the, on the occurrence of cancer in a defined population in a specific time period and to provide a framework for assessing and controlling the impact of cancer in the community. The Federal Ministry of Health established the National Headquarters of Cancer Registries in Nigeria in the 1990s to coordinate cancer registration and the activities of cancer registries in Nigeria. This was domiciled at that time at the Department of Surgery, University College Hospital in Baden, under the pioneer chairmanship of Professor uh, Shulanke, and the National uh, NHRCN, uh, uh, despite several challenges due to inadequate funding, recorded successes. It later uh, metamorphosed into a national system of cancer registries.